All right, Mr. G back here with another Astroneer. We got uh, McFat Jr. here. And we've been faffing around the base a little bit, but we are going to try out the uh, trade platform. So I've been doing some mining, I've been doing some driving around, been extending the base. Um, it's a little bit of a mess, but you can see we've got a couple extra generators in there. We've got our vehicle bay, we've got our printer, we just slapped in a fuel condenser. I'm not really sure how that works. Does it just turn energy into fuel? And it does. It looks like it takes an entire battery worth of juice and uh, turns that into fuel. All right, groovy. Um, we need fuel because we're going to be building a shuttle at some point. But right now, we are going to make a trade platform. Just so we can get some toys that we need to do everything else that we need to do. So... Yes, you get ripped off on the trades, but all right, we need way more copper. So let's go back in the base and go load up on copper. I am thinking the trade platform needs to be outside because I'm going to assume it's going to be shooting things up to a space station. And uh, that wouldn't work very well if I'd had a roof over it. So I've kind of got my base in two parts. You know, we've got a enclosed segment for things, you know, where I store stuff. Where I do my building and researching and smelting, so I'm not getting nailed by debris. And then we've got our solar and our wind outside, just because that makes sense, right? You're gonna get sun outside. Okay, let's put in the old, not the printer. What am I doing trying to make a printer? I want a trade platform. So, whoopsie doopsie, get in here. Still getting the hang of manipulating items and whatnot. Got all this. We will need another vehicle bay outside, right? That thing looks like a rocket, doesn't it? Oh, well, it needs aluminum. Well, I done screwed that up. Let's go back into base and see if I even have enough aluminum laying around. Oh, I do have some. Okay. You no, know, guys, no one wants to watch me organize the base right now. Can you just put your copper back? Got a few units of titanium there we picked up off Rex. That is not an item I have found mining yet. I found hydrazine, I found the ores for copper and aluminum. But I have not come across... Well, I've come across a little bit of lithium, but I've not come across titanium. So those are my more rare compounds. Uh, the mine I've got going on, uh, it goes fairly deep. I don't need power. I've got a nice little ramp system. Oh, that's, that's not aluminum. It's copper. I only have one aluminum. Oh, here's the aluminum section. You can see, guys, I'm really organized. One of the things I, I liked when I used to play Starbound is uh, you could label your chest where you put all this stuff. Um, not that having a big sign above would, would help when you can literally see uh, right what you're grabbing. Now, sometimes the items don't want to snap to the to the nodes like they should. And that sometimes when the light's off, it's hard to tell a copper from an aluminum because the shape is identical. I think they're just different colors. Okay, so let us build the trade platform because we have never built one before, and this is a new, a new toy. All right, move camera angle. All right, pro tip: you don't have to open up your backpack. If you've got it in your backpack, just click on it, and we'll automatically. Grab it from your backpack. I keep forgetting that one. So, we obviously can put an item on there to get something else. So, let's see. What do I want? Resin, hydrazine, laterite. It's aluminum, malachite, copper, lithium. Lithium. All right. And it will tell us how much we can yield. So, I presumably could put a bunch of hydrazine on there and trade it for lithium. I noticed a lot of people on the Reddit... Just load up on the fuel condensers. And I guess you could turn energy into hydrazine. Straight up. There it is. And then convert that to whatever you need. Which makes sense, right? So you could just get your own, like, uh, Exxon Mobil going. And you pretty much would have unlimited resources as long as you were getting enough energy. So let's try this out. Boom. Yields zero. All right. Let's, let's just try this out. Let's see how many units of hydrazine... We've got to trade. Get this done. I'm trying to learn to do this without opening the backpack just to save time. It's going to cost us quite a bit of our fuel there. I may need to make make some more fuel condensers. So let's just 
while we're at it, show you guys the fuel condenser. Boom. Hit that, and it turns energy into fuel. Now it takes nearly a full battery of energy, which is why I'm trying to get lithium here, because I can't seem to find it anywhere. Got really lucky. I found two on a wreck. Okay, whoop, I don't want to trade organic. Why do I even have organic? I do not use it for much of anything. I don't have a generator going. I guess I could turn generating uh, organic into energy via the generator. And that would uh, give me a fair bit of energy, which we could turn into fuel, which we can turn into... Wow, this thing takes a lot of hydrazine to yield... <laughs> one unit of lithium. Let's see if we even have enough. Oh, we've got one more there. Let's grab that. Okay, do I have any more laying around in my storage compartments? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I knew I would need it later. We're just trying this out, though. So the trade platform does appear to be a huge ripoff. Whatever the corporation's favor is, but such is life. So, alright, McFads... Fats the second. Let's let's fill this trade pod up with goodies. Boom. Boom. All right. I shouldn't have to click that. Let's see if it just works. Oh wait, no, not exactly. Not my tethers. I will keep those. Oops. And boom. Okay. So we have loaded this up, and it's going to yield one lithium. Well, let's see what happens. Click. Look at that. I'm glad we built it outside. Oh, I can't even look up at a 90 degree angle to watch it take off. So we've got a little timer queuing up here. I guess we can come back, check on this thing later, and I can assume a little pod will return with my uh, lithium. So, wow, fair bit of work to get that rare stuff. But when you need one thing, right, it's, it's worth it. Can I just click on this and nope, that doesn't work. All right. Put our hydrazine back here to start cranking out some more of that since we just used up what was it like eight units okay so people must just spam click this that's why they would have more than one of these going at a time which i guess makes sense but it does not take that long to run through this if you have if you have ten in a row i guess you could be click 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 okay it takes a little bit i can see why you might want more than one all right maybe i will Extend this node, build another one. All right, droop. Let's go back and check on our. Okay, it's recharging. We'll come back. All right, so yeah, there's some wait time. I can see why having a few of those would be beneficial. And where is our lithium? There it is. It has brought us one lithium. But hey, that's stuff's rare. I'm just gonna start uh, spamming hydrazine. And you can see our, there's our plants. We planted from our seed earlier. And crank out another hydrazine. And we can't really do much with one lithium. We need two to make a battery, but I'll tell you what, guys, that's my pro tip for the day. Just being able to work at night because we've got stored energy is a big deal. It is no joke. It's nice having it. So if you haven't got around to doing that, I definitely recommend cranking out a battery. Well, that's it, guys. That's, uh... That's it for just checking out the trade platform on this one. So we're going to let McFats uh, take a much earned break. I will show you uh, more of the mine later. and We'll go delve into the depths of this planet. And then soon, hopefully, we'll get a shuttle and we will get off this stinkhole and get somewhere else. All right, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you.